I was asked to balance this equation. Uh, before we balance it though, let's take a look at the states based on the solubility rules. So we would expect that lead for sulfate here would be aqueous, lithium nitrate. Nitrates are very soluble. That would be aqueous. Over here we have lead for nitrate. Again, I would expect that to be soluble. And then lithium sulfate, that's soluble in water. So all of these things are aqueous. So really, when we start, these are all dissolved in water. When we end, everything's dissolved in water. So there's really no reaction based on these solubility rules. And because there's no reaction, I would expect there wouldn't be any precipitate being formed. But let's balance the equation. We'll use a little trick to make it easier. We have one lead atom. And then I'm gonna treat this sulfate ion as one thing. I have a sulfate here and here. So I say I have my one sulfate times two, two sulfate ions, one lithium. And again, for the nitrate, I have a nitrate here and here. I'm just going to say I have this one nitrate. Makes things a lot neater. One lead, one sulfate, two lithium atoms, and then one nitrate times four gives me four nitrates. A lot easier to work with. Let's start by balancing the sulfate ion here. We have two here and just one over here. So I'll put a two here. So the one sulfate times two, that'll give me two. Those are balanced, but two times two, I'll have four lithiums. Let's just put a four in front of the lithium nitrate, one times four. That balances the lithium there. And then we have the one nitrate times four. That balances the nitrates. And we're done. This equation's balanced. So it's a lot easier when you consider these polyatomic ions just to be one thing if you have them on both sides of the equation there. You'll get the same answer either way. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.